Hello guys, it's Motion here. Welcome back to another special Eat Bubble video. And guys, before we start, I want to tell you guys, happy, happy new year. And I know I'm late with this video, but what can I say? I bought this queue on Friday, but I didn't have time to play it that day because that's the family day. And I was out with my family. So we got the queue on Friday and we played it on Sunday morning, which is today. And I'm going to be showing you exactly what we did. First, we're going to examine the queue, look at the design and the value that it takes to recharge, which is 1875 coins. And I think it's not that good of a queue. It's not that powerful queue. And we also got the golden spin. That was the mystery item with the purchase. And we got 12,000 coins because of the VIP level. We're gonna also check how this this queue looks on our profile and it looks really really awesome. I was hoping to get even a force to a nine. That would be a very very powerful queue and that would be the correct statement by Miniclip for giving us the most powerful queue in the history. As you can see, we are playing on 1st January, Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m. And soon I'm going to have to go to work. So we're going to have to do the quick recording. That's why I did the quick recording and I refused to play any tournament. So we're going to go quickly into the game. We can't play on any table because we are holding that. And we are going to be playing in a Bangkok tempo because we have a lot of wins needed to get the ring in the very, very first break with the King Q. There you go, a very nice break. And the way I see it, solids are a bit easier, but playing yellow and blue are gonna be a little bit tricky. And we're gonna have to play some sort of a cannon. And that was actually a little bit of luck and a little bit of a skill to actually remove that stripe from the corner and get a very very nice position for our yellow we can just play a stun shot a little bit of back spin and again we can play purple with a bit of a stun shot because the yellow is outside and we can easily pot and just go get a nice position for the black to finish the game nice position nicely done simple stuff that's what i try to tell you guys there's a simple step-by-step -step procedure if you follow that you can actually win any game on any table first of all you need to see if the black is open or not immediately after the break if it is your break you need to find out by scanning the table as to where is the black at this point our opponent sees that the black is open and the solids are way too easy and as you can see he's a bit of a confused between seven and orange and now he's playing a sort of a cannon and a combo shot. Perfectly done. Nicely played. He's going to use a back spin to get a nice position and finish the game. Nicely done by our opponent level 64. So again, we're going to repeat our steps. And as you can see, it's our break. So immediately after the break, you need to find out if the black is open or not. If the black is open, then you scan the table quickly and find out if the solids are easy or the stripes. We just parted the black and now the black is in the awkward position. And the black is actually, unfortunately, not available because of the cover from the yellow stripe. That's the problem. That's why the yellow is not available in any pocket at this point. So... Again, at this point, I'm scanning the table to find out exactly if the stripes or solids are easy. And as you can see, solids are all open, very, very easy. And we have a nice shot that we can actually play all the way from red to the blue. A nice cannon that will definitely open up the black and we will find out exactly how we do it. This is what happens, guys, when you do a break, you get a bit of extra time to actually think because these are the caller pocket 
tables so you get extra time per shot and even after the break so a very very delicate slow shot and just like that with one shot the black is open the black is now available either in the middle pocket or the top pocket top right pocket right there and now we can take a slow shot for the blue to get a nice position so either we can play purple or orange it depends on what position we are and because we need to make sure that the cue ball is down the cushion for a nice black into the corner pocket at this point i use back spin get a nice position for the orange we have a bit of an angle and we're gonna play a top spin shot take the cue ball down the cushion exactly what we planned and an easy black to finish the game because we already made sure that the black should be easy and we just won the game that that's it guys it's so simple that's why i tell you guys to do the practice you see i just start the game i start recording i don't do any warm-up i don't do any practice but usually lots of people they tell me that Master, you're supposed to do a warm-up so that you get used to playing but i'm i don't i don't get much time to play as you can see we are playing in this 8 30 right now and i have to go to work soon that's why we just play and look at this break that was a terrible break on my part so i'm not gonna be upset if i lose this game but our opponent has to do a lot of work if he is to be able to finish the game he still has a green problem and i don't know at this point he's unable to pot the green and the orange and the only ball he's gonna be going for is the yellow ball and he's going for a safety shot so now he's forcing us to play a safety shot unless we get a good option and a good position for to be opening up the cluster and winning the game i used the back spin that was my bad i should have used the forward right spin at this point so we might have the chance to open up the black but the problem is the black is in a very very delicate position we might have potted the black so now we have a very nice chance to use a nice angle and a nice position to go straight into the green but unfortunately i messed up bad i messed up big time that was my bad and I, i'm actually confused right now how i missed the shot so we have another chance to go into the cluster a bit of backspin and unfortunately we scratched thanks to the backspin and our opponent has an excellent chance he's going to go straight into the bunch and open up everything and that's the end of this gameplay we made a terrible mistake actually we made a few mistakes that's why i tell you guys to do the recording and look back at your mistakes so before we end this video i want to go back to actually check the shot what was the mistake what we did actually i set up properly for to be going into the cluster and at this point i was supposed to go straight into the green and not away from the green and i selected the back a little bit left spin i thought that that's gonna work unfortunately it was not enough i think the spin was not too much or it was a wrong angle for me i mean everything is up for debate the reason i'm showing you guys is this because i need help see this shot one more time and now help me with figuring it out what is spin i should have used at this point to be going straight into that green and opening up the yellow and the black as well so that's the first question for you guys from me 2017 that's the first question so i hope you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up and drop a comment down below help a brother out take care guys have a nice day peace out